everyone, this is Tony from Blue Butterfly Creations with another quick video. And this one I kind of did for a camping theme. I had recently purchased the Camping Critters uh, Cricut cartridge and I was inspired by it to do this layout. Um, although there is no actual Critters from the cartridge on here. But it inspired me to do this. And what I have is I have two pieces of 12 by 12 craft cardstock. And what I did is I used my tool here and the Walnut Stain Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. And using circular motions, I distressed all four edges of the 12 by 12 paper. Then I have this piece, these pieces of uh, green stripes. And I did the same thing with the Walnut Stain. I distressed them going around the edges. I also have this piece of the brown polka dot with the dots are green that I did the same idea. I distressed them. And what I did is I cut my um, background stripe here to 12 by 8 inches. Then my brown um, polka dot here is cut at 7 by 12 inches. So to start I'm going to adhere those two pieces together. And then adhere that whole block to the craft card stock. And I'm centering it along the middle of the page here. So there's about two inches on either side of these. Then I have this piece of the green stripe and I've cut this to four and a quarter by six and a quarter so that my stripes run vertically versus horizontally. So this is going to be for a portrait picture. And I'm going to run some adhesive on the back real quick. And what I'm going to do is put this on the side here towards where the seam would be as it sits in my book. And it's about half an inch up from the bottom, right on that seam. So this gives me plenty of room for my 4x6 on here and an 8x6 on this polka dot. And what I've made sure I can do is pull this up so that my 8x6 will slip under. Okay, then I have my letters that I cut out and I cut these out using the teardrop font on the Cricut. And they say camping. And I cut them in the same matching colors and distress them with walnut ink. So I'm just going to put them up over here on the top of the page in the corner and spell out camping. I'm spacing them about an eighth of an inch apart and from the bottom. And there's the first half of this layout. I'll pull it in so you can see some of that distressing color. And then my letter sings camping. Okay. On the other page, I have this piece of cream that I've distressed, and this is three by seven inches. And again, distress it using the walnut seam. I have a piece of that green paper 
and this is cut to um, 5 by 12. So I'm going to run my adhesive on the back side. I'm going to line it up with the seam here and press it into place. I'm going to run some adhesive on the back side here of my pattern paper, of my cream paper I distressed. And I'm actually going to place this towards the top about centered from either side and making sure that my top remains the same spacing. That leaves me room here to add embellishment or decoration once I have um, pictures of camping. This also leaves me room for three five by three and a half pictures that will run in this craft space here. I also have these stickers here and these were put out by American Traditional Designs and these are actually from 2003 so they've been sitting in my stash for a while and there's some bear paws so I'm going to use some of the bear paws and I'm going to place them up the side. Just like that. There's some leaves, so I'm going to use some of those for the top. If I can get one to peel. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'll place that up in the upper corner. This one here, I'm just going to overlap it a little. And the little red one. Go overlap on the other side. There we go. Then I have this explore. I'm gonna place this one overlapping here. There, from my journaling square. And there you have this very quick, very simple two page layout. For camping. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Blue Butterfly Creations dot blogspot dot com.